brothers and sisters. We have blessed these ashes so that you may take them home to your family and your friends who are unable to be with us during these strange times of the virus. I ask you to take these blessed ashes and pose them on your family and friends using the, the uh, terminology of the church, re repent, be, you are, remember you are dust and unto dust you shall return or repent and believe in the gospel. Please come forward and to receive your ashes. Have you ever been asked why you have a smudge on your forehead after Ash Wednesday? Why we as Catholics get ashes on our foreheads? Here are some ideas that you could share. I'm a sinner. I don't always love God as strongly as I could or as directly as I should. Ash Wednesday helps me to remember that it is only through God that I have life. He gave it to me. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent. We can use Lent as a time to stop and assess how we're doing in our walk with God. Lent helps us identify spiritual areas in which we can grow and sinful areas we need to avoid. What does it mean to repent? It means to turn away from sin and turn toward God. We use ashes as an outward expression of our need to begin again. Why do we use ashes? Over 40 passages in the Bible associate ashes with mourning and grief. In Old Testament times, people used ashes as a sign of repentance. They would sit in ashes, roll around in them, sprinkle them upon their heads, or even mingle them with their food and drink. They did this as an outward sign of their inward posture of repentance. I'm glad we don't go to those extremes, but Lent is a good time and Ash Wednesday is a good way to begin. It can allow us to look back on where we've been and decide where it is we want to go.